Global conflicts continue to make headlines every day. At a time when investors as well as consumers have their smart devices, it's hard to ignore the latest conflicts happening in North Korea or the Middle East. Joining me today to talk about his company is Dov Sella, the chairman of Rata Electronic Industries. Dov, great to have you here today. Thank you. I'm the CEO. Well, your company, Rada Electronics, uh, rang the opening bell. So I want to hear first and foremost about the product lines that you have for land as well as airborne applications. Uh, yeah, we have been uh, doing uh, avionics, developing and uh, selling avionics, especially video recorders, for over 20 years. Uh, and we realized that there is a glass ceiling above this market, which is lim with limited growth, even though we have uh, uh, you know, prime integrators like Lockheed Martin and Boeing and uh, Embraer and uh, Hindustan Aeronautics and the uh, Israel Aircraft Industries and others. Uh, there is a limited uh, growth potential to this type of business for us. About a decade ago, we have identified a niche, a market niche around tactical radars for the ground forces. Until that time, or even up to now, there are not too many uh, small radars, but rather big ones and remote ones and expensive ones. However, the type of war that is being conducted today dictates and requires organic means to the maneuver force, smaller radars that are able to work automatically and be part of active protection, detect all tactical short-range threats like uh, RPGs, rocket propelled grenades, anti-tank missiles, short-range uh, rockets, mortars, and that kind of type, and recently uh, drones and quadcopters that are all over. Uh, and, and by large, uh, the maneuver force, meaning the tanks, the troops, the, the vehicles, the AFVs, are not equipped with the sensors like, uh, like our radars to, to address these threats. And you must have radars in order to address them, to detect them from the certain distances that you need, process it, see if it's going to hit you or not, give an alert, and if it's going to do something bad to you, issue a, a neutralizing effector or an electronic jamming or a combination of things in order to first stay alive and then continue with your missions. And typically, our radars are also able to detect the source of threat and you can fire back or eliminate the source by other means because you captured it. And, and uh, that's the market niche and that's the vision. Now for 10 years we've been, we've been uh, um, <coughs> developing it and uh, you know uh, uh, being very active with the market but the market was a bit dormant but recently in the last two three years we see the market waking up mainly in the United States around active protection systems where our radars are part of the scene, around the counter UAV or counter drone systems that require radars like ours in the heart of the, in the, of the solution, of the weapon system. And we feel that we have addressed uh, the right niche, and this is actually our growth engine into the future. Well, Dov, you brought up a lot of important points, so I have a few batch of questions for you. Sure. Well, today Congress returns from recess, and here in the U.S., uh, they will be discussing defense bill spending. Of course, I do want to hear about your client base as well as market performance. So can you tell me, as a small, com a small cap company, where you see growth going in the near future? Yeah, uh, we are uh, actually cooperating. Uh, it's uh, unusual that a company like us sells directly to the government mm -hmm. uh, because typically we are part of a larger weapon system. So we have addressed from the very beginning the integrators of this, uh, of this world. As I told you, in aviation we are selling to Lockheed Martin and to Boeing. Also in radars we address the same companies, different uh, branches, different uh, uh, subsidiaries of, of the, uh, the big conglomerate. And uh, for instance, we are part of their uh, uh, development of high LNG laser systems that should be the weapon for the future involving uh, radars like ours. Uh, so we have started selling in a small scale directly to these companies. And uh, we have signed a teaming agreement with a substantial US uh, uh, company named uh, Leonardo DRS to migrate our technology and make it uh, US based production, maintenance, 
marketing and selling naturally, and also uh, all the classified uh, uh, aspects of such technology that should be done here. And uh, when you deal with radars, you must, you must have this side of uh, technology as well. So that's our uh, strategy here, to, to penetrate to the US through these uh, channels. Uh, and uh, we do believe that this is our biggest and most important market, at least in the, in the coming decade. And last but not least, before I let you go, I do want to talk about trends in the defense space. Of course, you are in the space for defense as well as avionics. So are there any up and coming trends you're seeing in your area that we have yet to really hear about? Uh, I think that the avionics business is, uh, is stable. Mm -hmm. This is part of the reason that we have identified uh, a glass ceiling above our growth. And, and we do see uh, the need and the trend and the market awakening around electronics being supporting the ground troops. And, and that's where we put our uh, destiny and future. And we do see it's, uh, it's starting to, to happen. And once it happens here and it's starting in the United States, I mean, and naturally in Israel, which is our homeland, we are already providing uh, such solutions to the Israeli Defense Forces. But following the United States is uh, Western Europe, it's the Far East, mm -hmm. the areas where there is a potential conflict on, or the, on the verge of conflict, Eastern Europe, and, and, and so on. So we do see some uh, activity in the market in parallel to what's going on here. Okay, Dov, well, thank you so much for joining me here at the NASDAQ, and congratulations on the opening bell. Thank you very much.